Guys, with the launch of Arbitrum token happening on the 23rd of this month, I expect most projects built on Arbitrum should start doing well once Arbitrum token start trading. So in today's video, I will be talking about the top 5 altcoins on Arbitrum layer 2 that I think will be doing well in the coming days and week. And one of the projects I'm covering today has a very, very low market cap. So to find out about this project, make sure you watch this video to the end. And if today is your first time watching my videos and these are the kind of content you want to see, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. So the first project I will be talking about today is GMS. GMS is actually one of the biggest projects on the Arbitrum ecosystem. As you can see, the market cap of GMS is almost $700 million. And GMS has been doing very well since its launch um, last year. As you can see, GMS has done over 500% since its all-time low last year. And GMS is a decentralized perpetual exchange where you can trade BTC, ETH, Avas, and all that top cryptocurrency with up to times 50 leverage directly from your wallet. What makes GMS very special is the fact that you can trade directly from your wallet. You don't need any centralized exchange. And GMS started getting adoption last year when FTX filed for bankruptcy. So traders started to understand that the best way to trade is directly from your wallet using a decentralized exchange. And also transaction fee on GMS is very, very cheap since GMS is being built on Arbitrum, which is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. So right now, let's just dive straight into GMS chart. As you can see, GMX has been trading within this range for some months now as you can see once on gms broke on this resistant level it pumped to around 76 dollar and dumped back to the support level at around on 60 dollar and once on gms got to the support level on gms bounced back and pumped to around on the 84 dollars level and also dumped back onto the support level at around um, $60. And once GMS dumped to the support level, GMS bounced again. And right now, GMS is at this um, resistant level. So I will be actually careful on buying GMS here. But if we break on um, this resistant level over here, let's say GMS gets to around um, $92 then I will be expecting on GMS to pump to around $100 or $120 in the coming days and week. But if GMS is not able to break on this resistant level here, then we might see a dump back to the $60 support before GMS tries to break um, this resistant level at around $84. Um, dollars. So the next project I will be talking about today is Magic. Magic is actually one of the oldest projects on Arbitrum. Magic launched two years ago during um, the last bull market. As you can see, the all-time low of Magic was in 2021. And since then, Magic has pumped almost 10,000%. So Magic is actually one of the projects that made Arbitrum got a lot of attention because um, Magic did very, very well since its launch um, two years ago. Magic Treasury is a decentralized gaming ecosystem that brings different games and players together through their Magic token. So what I like mostly about Magic is on Magic ecosystem, they have different kind of game. So if a player does not like one game, he can play another game. So I think um, this is part of the reason why Magic got a lot of adoption. And also on Magic has their game marketplace where you can buy in-game assets and also on Magic Swap which is a power cross-chain game economy. So right now, let's just dive on straight into the Magic chart. Also, Magic always find the support around on the $1.3 level. And whenever Magic touch this support level, Magic pump on back to this resistant level 
at the rand 2.2 dollar and few weeks ago magic saw a huge dump broke the support level but that same day magic bounced back above um the support level and right now we are seeing a pump um close to this resistant level at the round um 2.2 dollar so i just think maybe tomorrow once arbitrum token launch and if this token does very very well this might lead on magic to break this resistant level at 2.2 dollar and maybe pump to the next resistant level at the round um three dollars so the next project i will be talking about today is camelot token gray Camelot token is also a decentralized exchange on the Arbitrum ecosystem. But what I like mostly about Camelot token is Camelot token is only focused on the Arbitrum ecosystem. Most other decentralized exchange, you can trade them on Ethereum mainnet or other layer too. But Camelot decentralized exchange is only on Arbitrum. And also Camelot exchange as their launch pad where they launch new token that wants to build on Arbitrum. So this is part of the reason why I am bullish on Camelot exchange because it's a decentralized exchange and also a launch pad on platform. And Camelot token has been doing on very, very well since it launched around um, three months ago. As you can see, Camelot has done over times 20 since um, December last year. And the all time I was just on um, yesterday, but Camelot has dumped a little around 11%. So I think also from tomorrow, once Arbitrum launches, if Arbitrum token does very well, Camelot might pump a little. But I will be careful a little with Camelot because of the fully diluted valuation is around on 400 million dollars so for me camelot token is not a long-term hold it's just a short-term trade i will just be holding this for few days and after a few days i will sell my camelot token so the next project i will be talking about today is radiant capital radiant capital is a lending and borrowing platform where you can borrow assets across different chain. And if you notice, the total value lock on Radiant Capital is around $140 million. So a lot of people is actually using on this platform. And if you notice, the market cap of Radiant Capital is not very much. It's just around $37 million. But also, I will be careful a little because on um, the fully diluted valuation is around um, $500 million. So this also is not a long term hold for me. So I will just be holding for a few days, let's say a week or two. And after that, I will be selling my token and maybe buy again once we see a major crash in the crypto market. And Radiant Capital has actually done very well since its launch. As you can see, Radiant Capital has done around um, times 40 since the past five months. So I will be careful a little with Radiant Capital and I won't be holding for a very long time. Like I said, I will just be holding for a week. And after that, I will sell and buy later once we see a huge crash in the crypto market. So the last project I will be talking about today is Trident DAO. Trident DAO is actually the smallest project I am talking about today. As you can see, the market cap of Trident DAO is just around um, $10 million. And Trident DAO has not pumped a lot. As you can see, the all-time low was around $2.3 um, 10 days ago. And the all time I was around $9.2 one month ago. So I will be buying a little on Trident DAO and be holding for a week or two. And hopefully, um, Trident DAO gets back to its all time high at around $9. Or maybe we see a pump to around um, $10. So Trident DAO is a gaming ecosystem. As you can see, they have um, three games on the platform, but Trident DAO is actually a new project. So I think as the year goes by, they will be adding a lot of games to the platform. And hopefully this will bring a lot of adoption into um, Trident DAO. So guys, um, basically 
this is all I have for you today. This is just a quick update about projects building on Arbitrum ecosystem. And if you have other quality projects on Arbitrum ecosystem you think I did not cover, please drop them on the comment section and I will review those projects. And guys, please remember, I am not a financial advisor. Everything I say on my videos are just for education purpose. And if today is your first time watching my videos, and these are the kind of content you want to see, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye guys.